Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Liam here, and welcome to today's video on the channel. And in today's video, we'll be talking about some of the recent news floating around the community. Um, my sources basically are coming, you know, from Rapbeard and Artie in either, you know, like Sausage Chat or my chat, or, you know, elsewhere, obviously on Twitter and other things like that. And yeah, I'm just gonna make this video to talk about all the news basically. Because, uh, I don't know, I haven't really done that in the past, like, week or two. And I figured I'd offer my two cents on the situation. And I think there's some people in the community that are overreacting to a couple of the changes. And I'd like to explain how the things actually work before, you know, people start drawing their own conclusions about the novice update. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about, which is what I'm probably most excited for and interested in, is basically the new gear system they're going for for 160 now rapier talked about this in awesome the sauces chat i think like two or three days ago something like that um basically if you have any raid gear from the vorkas for i can't pronounce that word for chaos void so you know the melody wand the melody robe you know all this stuff here if you have any of this you can actually upgrade this gear to level 160. Now, a couple of months ago, I made a video talking about like an infused system like this, kind of like what Destiny 2 has. Basically, you'll take older gear and update it to your current level, essentially, right? And your stats will obviously get better. And Rapbeard basically confirmed that for free, essentially, this is going to happen. Now, I think this is a great idea. One thing I do want to say though, is I hope it's not completely free. Um, like as in like I just click a button and it's done. I would like to at least like have it require one amber or something. So there, there at least is like some kind of like progression. Like, oh, okay, I, I infused my piece of gear, but I'm not asking for a huge grind like raids. I just want like to give up something to get that updated gear essentially. Um, and Destiny 2, for example, it's literally just one upgrade module they make you have, which is not very rare at all. It's like, uh, it's pretty common to rare to get an upgrade module in that game. But I'd like to see Wiz follow a similar system. And I don't know, man, I just, I think this is really, really cool. And I hope they implement this kind of system, uh, for obviously like, you know, like the free to play casual PVE experience in the future as well. I think that would be really neat in my opinion. I know there's a lot of people who are very unhappy with like raids and guilds in general and they look at this and they're probably like, wow, King's Isle really doesn't care about the casual player base. And I, I do get where y'all are coming from, I suppose, but that that's really not the case. I, I can tell you from, you know, personally talking to the devs, they actually are very aware of the casual player base and they take that into account more than the I would say more than the veteran player base for the most part, actually. I think the raids was just a one-time thing to give the hardcore audience some content that they were severely lacking, which I can appreciate. Next up, I want to talk about the new school pip system. Now, essentially, if you don't know what this means, uh, it's like alchemy or archery or something like that. Uh, essentially, you will be able to generate off school pips. So obviously you can get seven white pips in a battle where 14 pips via gold pips, power pips, right? Um, these new pips, you'll be able to choose what kind of school you want to go for, right? So I could have a fire mastery, but then set my alchemy to ice. So I could be a storm with obviously fire spells and my alchemy could be ice with obviously my storm school identity. Now, I think this is a cool system, and I think a lot of people have this a little bit confused. I'm pretty sure how it works, and you could correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below if you guys know a bit more than me. But, um, the pip itself, so if I have a ice pip, it's worth three pips, I believe, I think somebody said. I think it's Rapid, I could be wrong. But it's not worth three pips. So if I'm on a storm, and I get that ice pip, and I'm supposed to have 10 pips, and then I get the ice pip, and it's supposed to be 11. I'm not going to have 11 pips to use my storm spells on. I'll have 11 pips if I'm, like, you know, ice, for example. I, I think that is how it works. Again, you could correct me below in the comments if you know a bit more about this. 
Um, it, it's honestly like a huge gray area, but I know the devs have been very, uh, uh, very receptive with the community on this one. Like, I know that they've been asking us what we think about it, what's like the community's opinion. Uh, they've been stopping streams like every day, already in Rapid, like I said, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, and personally, I like this system. Uh, one thing I'm going to talk about real quick before we go any further is uh, to to generate more alchemy, like to get your off school pip faster, they want players to run a full deck. So if you run a full deck, you'll essentially get that off school pip even faster. And I know a lot of players who do not like this, right? Whether it's PvE or PvP, right? Players like the simple nature of having a seven card deck or a one row deck in PvE. Uh, players in PvP also like to run like a, a smaller deck because you statistically will deck fail less if you build a deck optim optimally, right? So personally, if I was KI, I would probably not go the direction of making players have to like run a full deck. I would probably go and pivot a different direction if I if I were them. Because, I, I don't know man, I just, unless it's like, a very minimal, uh, you know, difference. Like, you know, kind of like shadow rating is in PvP right now, for example. I, I think it could either really make or break the game for both PvP and probably PvE, right? I'm thinking in PvE it could be kind of fun, you know. Because most people pack 7 cards, right? But if you have to run a full deck in PvE, you might actually not get those seven cards, you know, you might actually have to cycle your deck and look for stuff and it can be a different experience, kinda, right? And then let's say there's a cheat where you have to use your alchemy pip, you know? I think there is some level of depth to that in PvE, which I would love to see. I just really hope they don't go overboard with the deck system. And I really hope they um, f flush out the, like how the, the pips work um, in the future. And in general, real quick here, I just want to touch about this. Um, there's been a lot of rumors and a lot of false stuff going around about, you know, King's Isle and Novice as of recently. Uh, if you're on Twitter or in some other uh, individual's Discord, you might have seen some stuff uh, that is like supposed to be leaks for Novice and people trying to like, you know, put, put dirt on its name essentially, which I think is actually really messed up, you know? Uh, personally, I consider Lemuria one of the better worlds in the game, and I think Novice can build upon that, in my opinion. So seeing players just go out of their way to, like, entertain this drama or do it is just honestly kind of disappointing, uh, in terms of the community. But, uh, I do want to say, you know, when it comes to leaks like this, bro, like, it, it'd be sure that it's, like, coming from a dev, whether, you know, it's Rapid in Twitter DMs, or Rapid on Twitter, or on his stream, you know. Uh, what is it, Mon Monday to Friday in the morning all the time? Or, you know, just stuff like that, or like a content creator, like, you know, Sauce, Fair Cry, right? Just, just be sure that it's coming from, like, a credible source, you know? Uh, don't trust that random dude or girl in, in, in Discord, you know? You gotta be careful now nowadays, boys, I'm telling you. And I wanna talk about Test Realm real quick. I think Test Realm is gonna be dropping probably in roughly about two days time when this video goes up, I'm thinking. Um, I'm recording this video on Halloween, so happy Halloween, I guess. This is the 31st. Um, then, yeah, so I think it'll probably be up sometime this week is gonna be my theory. And I think Novice will come out probably like November 25th or something like that, if I had to guess. But obviously, this is all theories. Uh, let me know what y'all think. When is Test Realm dropping in the comments below? You know, what do you think Novice is going to be like, right? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see more commentaries like this, just let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas for commentary videos. And a like rating is always appreciated. And yeah, without further ado, thank y'all for watching this far. And I'll see you in the next one. And as always, take care, guys.